Okay, I was recently informed by one of my clients that Outlook has a new Outlook, and I have no idea how long this has been a feature, uh, because I'm a Gmail guy, but I do subscribe to Office 365, so uh, I do try to test and um, make sure that all of my email signatures and everything work as, look as good as possible in as many email clients and devices as possible. So I do have Outlook, and I guess I do have the new Outlook. So I did some messing around, and there are some really good things about the new Outlook and some things that are unfortunately still the same. Uh, it's very similar to the Outlook web app. So if you are still using the old, I am in uh, dark mode here. Let me go back to light mode because I know most people use the colorful or whatever. Uh, so it's more familiar for more, more of the people who are watching. Uh, so if you are used to using this version of Outlook, you likely, if you subscribe to Office 365, you will have this hidden up here. It's not very obvious, that's for sure. Uh, try the new Outlook and you can toggle this on and once you do it is going to uh, if it's the first time you do it it's going to download uh, some stuff uh, in order to allow you to make the switch I've already done that so right away I get select switch to use the preview preview of the new Outlook and close your current version you can switch back at any time so I'm going to click on switch and as you can see if you're familiar with the Outlook web app, this is a very similar look and feel. So um, <clears throat> the cool thing is, uh, I don't want to get too technical, uh, but it looks like this version, just like the Outlook web app, has uh, it, it doesn't have that what's called the MSO normal bug, which causes it creates p tags, paragraph tags in between all design elements. And especially on Gmail, on mobile devices, creates very wide gaps between design elements and HTML code. That seems to have been pretty well solved. Uh, however, one major bug that's been going on for years uh, with the Outlook web app is that it is strip it, still stripping uh, the phone tags, the click-to-call tags. I don't know why they fixed that. It looks like they fixed the email tags, it used to strip out uh, the email tags, uh, but uh, looks like that's been solved, but they haven't fixed the, the, the phone number tags yet. So I'll show you a, kind of an ugly workaround to if you'd still want your phone number to be click to call, uh, but I just want to go through um, the installation process of an HTML email signature for uh, the, new, the new Outlook, is what they're calling it. And I don't know when they're going to roll this out for everyone, but let's go into... A file that I've opened. This is an HTML file that I've opened in Chrome. I'm going to Control A to select all. Control C to copy it to my clipboard. Head on over into the new Outlook. Go up to this gear here. Click on that. Click on View All Outlook Settings. And then go to Signatures. And then select which I have two, I have a Gmail account here and then I have my Office 365 email address here. I use my Gmail account even though I have it in, in uh, Outlook. It's a Gmail account I use for testing purposes so I can see it in both Gmail and Outlook. So don't get confused that I have a Gmail account in here. So I'm going to select that one, uh, type a new signature name. And then in the signature panel, control V as in Victor to paste the signature that I had just copied to my clipboard. And it pastes very well. Everything looks good. Uh, and then it's this is kind of a quirk. If I want to select the, you have to select the default signature for new messages and replies forwards. After you paste, you have to save. And this is the same with the Outlook web app too. Kind of kind of a little, little uh, cumbersome to me. But once you save it, then you will have the option to select it. And now let me show you that uh, phone number bug. It looks fine in here, but once I save all this and then close this out and then new mail, um, let me make sure I'm using the right account here. Again, everything looks good. I'm going to send one to my Gmail and my 
Outlook, send a test, send away. Give it a few seconds here. And what you're about to see is going to be the exact same thing that happens in the Outlook web app as well. And after I just show you an example, I will show you how to overcome the issue. I'm going to try two different ways to show you. Come on now. Now as you can see, the phone number is blown up like two or three points larger than, than is in the HTML code as far as font size. And I can't, I can't click on it to open Skype or anything. And if I were on a phone, the same issue. The, the phone tag, the click to call is completely stripped out. However, the email address is working. And out in the Outlook web app, maybe that's been fixed. I haven't tested that out today. Unless they updated it within the last week, I'm assuming that that's still not working. So what I show you for the phone solution will also work if you're having issues with the email address. So I am going to delete this. Go back into settings, view all Outlook settings, signatures, and then what we want to do is highlight this. And once we highlight it, a little kind of rich text formatting menu comes up. Let's add a link right away. And then how we add phone links is TEL colon and then the phone number. But we don't want to use periods. I, I use periods um, to separate the, the digits fr from a sty stylistic or aesthetic perspective. Uh, you can either do it all together as one number or add hyphens in between. Either way is fine, but try to avoid periods if at all possible. And then click OK. And now we have a working phone link, but now it's ugly hyperlink blue. So the way to overcome that is to highlight. Again, this menu comes up here and pick any color you want, but ideally the one that matches the rest of the text in your contact information. And just double check that the, the font um, so it doesn't blow up. Just do it again. It says it's Arial 10 point font here. Just double do it. Just because I have no idea why it's it's doubling or or not two points or three points larger. I don't know why it does that in the code. So just just for safety's sake, just hit ten again or whatever size your font is. And now we have a black uh, text or or phone link here, but it's got that awesome ugly Outlook hyperlink blue underline. Unfortunately, there's nothing we can do about that. But at least we have a clickable number now. So let me save that. Close out, send a mess, whoops, send a new message. As you can see, that un, that hyperlink underline is there. I'm just going to send a message to here. And then send away. And then if it's not crucial to have a... Uh, uh, click to call phone number. It's really not that big a deal. It's just more convenient, uh, kind of a cool feature to have. But that that hyperlink is pretty ugly. After we test this out, I want to show you something else that I hope will work. So let's see. My Gmail comes in a lot faster than this does. I, I, I don't use, again, I don't, I don't use Outlook very often, but uh, so here we go. Uh, it is a clickable number, as you can see by this pop-up text here. Tell colon 831-713-6351. So that is one workaround for this. The other, let me see, and this is just something that I'm thinking will work, so no guarantees that it's going to work but this is strictly for aesthetics to not have hyperlink anything so I'm gonna highlight this and get rid of the link is it not letting me do it might not let no, might not be letting me do that at all remove hyperlink oh okay that's very unintuitive I had to click on the arrow but when I hover over the arrow, let me, let me do that again. Whoops. Whoops. 
highlight, hover, no option, or two options that are not remove. Click, remove. Very weird. Okay, so I've removed the hyperlink. Let's confirm, confirm that the text is black and that the font size is 10. And let's see how this looks. Saved. Now this, there is no link at all. I just want to get rid of the text blowing up. Just to show you two options here. Test three. So let's give that a little bit. And that while we're waiting, let's go into my Outlook and see the tests that have come in. First one, that's the cool thing about Outlook. This is the first test I sent in. I'm sorry, I, the cool thing about Gmail. Uh, this is the first test I sent in that the, this number was blown up. The link is still gone, but it's not blown up in Gmail, so it's strictly an Outlook quirk. And then test two didn't hit. I don't know. Well, let's head back into New Outlook and take a look and see what this does. Oh, cool. So that does work. We don't have a link, but it's not blowing up. So those are the two options. You can add the link and then stylize the text with that little menu that I showed you, or don't add a link, but still stylize the text. So either way, um, if you have a, have a link, the text is going to stay the same. It's going to stay the same color that you want. However, it's going to have that ugly hyperlink blue underline. Or don't link it, but make sure you stylize the text to whatever color you want and then the font size, whether it's 10, 11, 24, whatever. Um, anything that matches the, the font size of the rest of your contact information. Or if you want it bigger, make it bigger. You want it smaller, make it smaller. But that is pretty much it. That's how you install and edit a little bit. Uh, to get things working or at least looking better, uh, an HTML email signature in the new Outlook. Hopefully this helps. Let me know if you have any questions or concerns. Thank you.